Hey guys, this is my 4G63 G6K head that I'm going to stick on my 4G64 2.4 2G DSM. Um, I'm rebuilding it right now, but right now I'm going to show you guys what causes valve leaks. Okay. Okay, as you can see here, these, they're still not, not very clean, but I just chipped out like these ones right here I chipped most of the carbon out of in there I'm still working at it but it, it takes a little bit but um what causes it like these two these two aren't cleaned at all you know it's a little bit of difference um what causes it is carbon buildup that could be one of the causes. Another cause can be corrosion of the valve seats. And another can be corrosion of the valve itself. And obviously burnt valves can cause it too. But assuming you guys know what you're doing or have a stock car, then you won't have any burnt valves, hopefully. Okay, now what happens? Okay, what you want is your valve seats they have to be clean in order for it to get a good seal and then they'll seal nice airtight in there that retains compression if you have low compression one cause can be piston rings but another one can be just stuck open valves and you can see there's a bunch of carbon in there not in that one in this one you can kind of see it all built up in there, and see, I'll just pull a valve out for you. See, it's supposed to be nice and shiny clean right here. Well, I would assume it would be because the valves came out of it, but they weren't. And it, I did a hydro leak down test on it, and it failed epically. And this would be one of the reasons why. Once when it goes all the way shut, the carbon gets in between the valve and the head and it won't seal tight and air can get back out of those so the only thing you can really do to fix it is take your head tear it apart and if I can find the valve seat here or valve guide there we go and yeah clean all the carbon out clean it up make sure it's all shiny when you're done do a port polish while you're at it might as well um, yeah it's pretty much all you can do valve cleaner or whatever it's called I think Zyrtec made some or something Z-Tec I think it was Zyrtec but I think uh, heat ice ISO or something would I don't know if it really does anything but also seafoam is for cleaning carbon and stuff up I'm not sure if that actually works um, I'm sure someone out there will actually have a good a good test to see if it actually cleans any carbon whatsoever like it claims. But, yeah, the only real way that I know of that works for sure is just tear it down and clean it up. Do part polish while you're at it. Pick up another head. I picked up this dual over cam head for 63, 2 liter, for 10 bucks. Believe it or not, yes, 10 bucks for my friend. Thanks, Austin. Um... Yeah, it came off of a 1995 GST, it was crank walked. He picked it up for 500 bucks, thinking he was going to rebuild it. It's crank walk, you can't re really rebuild that, because it was into the block. But, yeah, so he gave this to me for 10 bucks, with the valve cover just primed right now, and the cams, and all the valves, and it was a complete head. Everything but the cam angle sensor and and thermostat housing but oh well you can always pick one of those up one thing I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna port all these all these holes out bigger I mean you can see he kind of did a little bit in there it's not much at all but I will be doing all that I will be cleaning up it'll be nice and shiny when I'm done and I'm gonna make sure this is nice and nice and flat, no warpage at all. And yeah, I'll be going on my 
64, 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder Spider GS. I need a, it's only an intake manifold with fuel rail. I have a good set of injectors, but those are going on the stock head and fuel rail when I get it tuned this spring. I'm going for 20 PSI on stock internals, believe it or not. Yes, the stock internals will hold up that much boost. I would suggest it every day. I'm going to have them tune it up to 20 pounds and then I'm going to drop the boost maybe to 15 or 16 pounds. It'll be relatively, relatively easy to handle, about 300 horsepower. That'll be good for it's my daily driver. So, And the stock transmission, it's an automatic. It's not all-wheel drive yet. All-wheel drive will be the summer. Pick up a donor car. Yeah, guys, thanks for watching. See you later.